Always use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. Ooh, These are all of my social media accounts. Try, know that it's time Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I'm really excited because today I'll be sharing with you my top five concepts for Bloxburg. I did a lot of concept videos last year, but we've gained so many more subscribers since then. So I thought it'd be fun to bring back some old ideas just in case you missed them. But I obviously go more in depth in those videos. So if you wanna go and check those out, I'll have the link to the playlist in the eye in the corner. Keep in mind before we get started that these are just concepts that I have made and nothing is confirmed to be coming to Bloxburg. I don't work for Bloxburg, so I don't know what they have planned for the future. I just have a lot of ideas and everyone used to make concepts last year. Like it was a big thing for a few months and then people kind of stopped. And I wish that we did that more often again. But with all that being said, let's get started. At number five, we have a tablet. I called the tablet the iSlim tablet and the description says need to catch up on work want to watch your shows on the go the iSlim tablet is the fit for you the fun is four and the reliability is six and just for a price i put 2k but i feel like it would be really awesome to have a tablet in Bloxburg and also fairly easy to add because we already have a laptop and it could have the same features you can do some work on it kids can watch videos also if it had a feature that the babies could use too if they had like a kid show or something because we all know that a lot of little kids and toddlers have their very own tablet maybe if there were different variations of the tablet so we could have the iSlim tablet and then we also had a version for the kids that had a case on it that was more kid friendly at number four we have have another game pass which is for VIP plots. We have a lot of empty spaces on the Bloxburg map and I feel like that space could be utilized for VIP plots. So maybe four plots per server, two in the hills like by the campsite and then two maybe down by the beach. I feel like a lot of people don't go to the beach that often in Bloxburg anymore, let alone visit the town. But if we had plots on the beach that we had access to, that would be pretty amazing if you wanted to do a beach house build and then you had the view of the ocean. Even though the beach is pretty outdated, Hopefully, if we ever get a map revamp, we could see some VIP plots in the empty spaces that aren't used for anything else. At number three, we have the shopping list, and this was inspired by someone else's concept last year. I'll have them on the screen because I currently don't remember who it was. I did give credit in the actual concepts video though. It would be really cool if we had a shopping list in Bloxburg and you actually had to stock up on stuff at the grocery store. Store. So say you needed to make an apple pie and you didn't have all the ingredients. So you had to go to the store, buy dough, buy the apples, just anything that you need to prepare the dish. And once you had the ingredients, you could come back home and make them. Number two, I've said this a lot and I know you guys are probably tired of me saying this, but I feel like we need more ages in Bloxburg just for more realistic features for us role players. I've held off on aging up my baby in my Collins family role play series because I just don't want her to be a kid yet. I feel like they might add toddlers right after I turn her into a kid and then I'm gonna be a little annoyed. So I'm kind of trying to hold off to see if we will ever get a toddler body morph. And along with toddlers, I feel like we need an elder body morph too. The thing with toddlers I feel like they should be able to walk and definitely not cry because the babies crying when their moods are low are very, very frustrating. I can't deal with it. They definitely should have the hunched over walking animation. And at number one, we definitely need more colors. And I think it would be nice to have a color wheel but you could actually save the colors to your own palette. And if not that, then we just need a whole new refresh color palette. 
I'm fine if they keep the colors that we have because, I mean, we all use those colors. But there needs to be more variations. Like, the pink colors are honestly pretty awful. And those are my top five concepts for Bloxburg. Let me know which one is your favorite. And if you have any concepts of your own, I would really love to hear about them. And fingers crossed we can see some of these things added to Bloxburg this year. It's only February. We have a long way to go. But if you enjoyed, do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below once you are subscribed click the bell button so you get notified whenever i post a video and with that being said i'll see you guys next time bye you you've been hiding in the shadows way too long you always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong